to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. We are so excited, and we are going to get started. So let's do some introductions. I am Amanda Munchies. I came here all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, as I mentioned, and we're here to raise money and awareness for cannabis research by highlighting amazing talent in the community, and I have been beyond blessed for all the support here in Florida to help do that. So that uh, includes CR World, CR Network, House of Jane, Tricome Health. So we're going to take a second and introduce the two other hosts this evening that are going to be helping me out as we kind of go back and forth to the mixologist room, out here so you guys can try some drinks. We have a whole night ahead of us. Uh, before we tell you the rules, we just want to take a moment and introduce the two other people that are hosting with us. So we have with us Colette Florido. Go ahead and you can introduce yourself. Hi, Colette Florido. I am the founder of CR World. Yeah! Uh -huh. CR Pets Live. And tonight, uh, the team that is bringing this live, CRW Network, and we have a lot of guys here. We've got folks that have come in from uh, Georgia, Hunter's team. We've got a lot of people that are here uh, helping us out to make this a really cool success. Also, uh, we have Mr. Tom Quigley here with House of Jane. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Last. Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Awesome. You know, I, I met Amanda in Arizona where she did the Battle of Beverages um, back on September 30th. So this event came together in five weeks. Five weeks. And it's something that we felt that Florida deserved to have, an experience. So this is not a trade show. This is not like anything else that we've done in the past that you may know that me from. So it's really an experience and I'm excited to be part of it with both Colette and Amanda. And thank you all for being here. This is the first annual. Next year we're going to do it again, and hopefully by then the rules will be changed in Florida so we can use THC. Because in Arizona we were able to do that, and it was patient access. But this is our first year here. It's CBD. We're going to be making some great cocktails, and we meant we created this event, or Amanda created this event to be all inclusive. Okay, so that what that means is the judges are involved. We have competitors. We have sponsors that have contributed products that are not only in your gift bags, but they're also being used as ingredients by our competitors. So the concoctions that they make up tonight are, may be used by some of our sponsors' products that they put in there. So it's a great thing. And you as the audience, if you see the CR codes around on the tables, QR codes. QR codes. <laughs> Scan those. I just I just learned about it, so you can scan those with your iPhone. Just take a picture, and, and, it, and it'll bring you to a voting page. So you, as attendees, including our sponsors, are going to get to sample the beverages that are made today. And, and with that. We, we want to say a huge thank you uh, to all of our sponsors, uh, but a definite shout out to uh, Cure Leaf, who is our advocate sponsor. So we are super thankful. Give a round of applause for supporting this event. So right now in the back, the mixologists are being brought to the competitor tables, just to let you guys kind of know what's going to happen. So we're going to kind of break down the evening for you. Right now they're being brought to the mixologist table. In a few minutes, I'm going to go back there with them. While that's happening, you guys are still going to hang out, but they're going to be given a table full of mystery ingredients that they didn't know about. They also have a box full of ingredients that they have to pick an item out of. And then on top of that, they got to bring one item that they could use that was non-CBD and one kitchen tool. So we're trying to mix it up, but it's really very chop style. They really don't know what they're working with to come here, so it is a huge competition. And what does the winner get? The winner gets, this is huge, so this beautiful trophy, do you want to grab that? This amazing trophy, which was handmade, they get $250 cash. They're going to be, uh, basically, we're going to highlight them in Cannabis Cactus Magazine, and there's some other magazines here locally. Yeah. Correct? As uh, well as their beverage that they create, and it may have been made with your products. So this is going to be an amazing event, guys. We are super excited to have you here. And we are going to get started. So in just a moment, I'm going to be in the back saying on your market set, go. And we'll go from there. Can, in the meantime. I'll introduce the judges. 
In the meantime, I want to introduce the Jets. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, on the left, you see here we have our judges. Our judges are going to sample the products that are made by our contestants. And our first judge is Chaz Calavito. And I'd like Chaz to come up here and say a few words about himself and get, let you get to know our judges a little bit. It's up, Chaz! It's up, Chaz! Hey, so my name is Chaz. Uh, I'm the VP of the Florida Cannabis Coalition, uh, but I've also worked with a lot of other various companies around. Uh, the assistant manager over at Mighty Can St. Pete, so it's one of the sponsors over on the table. Yes, so say hi to Zoe. Um, just been active in the industry for the past two years and excited to see this competition. Yeah. Ch Chaz is pretty humble. He doesn't talk very much when he does. It's important, but he was a very important part of Green Carpet Events and Florida Cannabis Coalition and everything that they've done to bring education to the state of Florida, as well as the next judge that I'd like to bring up, which is one of my great friends and one of the people that has been leading the industry in for a long time. And I'm going to let you tell him tell you all about what he's been doing and what he's doing now. My good friend, Carlos Armida. How's everybody doing? You guys excited for the Battle of the Beverages? Well, Tom is a little too kind. Um, I haven't been a leader in the industry per se, but I have been as big a part of the industry as I could be. Um, I've uh, done things like start a local advocacy group called Central Florida Normal. I've been a part of the Florida Cannabis Coalition with people like Pete, Tom, and Chaz. Um, been a big part of cannabis education, and now I'm running a CBD store in Ybor City, Florida. So everybody come on down and chill them to get your CBD beat. Yeah! And yeah, that's it. I'll be available for questions later. Carlos is another one that's humble. He probably taught me the majority of what I know about cannabis, the history of cannabis. He was teaching people a long time before I came along, and he really taught me a lot of what I know about the community and giving back. So thank you, Carlos. The next judge I want to introduce, it's funny because you know how Facebook has memories? We had a memory come up five years ago was the day we kind of met. And it was in Las Vegas at a big event that was at the Palms, there was a bowling alley, and it was really cool, but ever since then, we've remained friends, and I'm really proud to introduce a good friend of mine, Chef Joey, and I want to have him tell you, you probably have seen him before, a little bit more about what he's doing right now, and a little bit about what his history is. Hey everybody, how you doing out there? Yeah! Uh, my name is Chef Joey Galliano, I'm a cannabis chef for a little bit more than three decades right now. Uh, we started it long before the science was really available to us, um, but I'm just really, really blessed to be here. Uh, very thankful. I have my own edibles company. I have a CBD line, Chef Joey's Edibles, and um, that's about it, man. I'm just so thankful. I got a bunch of rock stars next to me as far as our guests, uh, our judges. Um, so please, don't, don't get with me. Let's introduce the next two ladies. <laughs> and, and Okay, so that's enough from the testosterone end of it, I guess. You know, we, I thought we were, we were a male, female, male, female. We have a pretty good variety here, but the next person I want to introduce, you know, I don't know if you know Dawn Yarnell, but I was introduced to her about a year and a half ago, and she's been very active in helping to educate the physicians and the doctors in this community. And I'd like to introduce Dawn as well. Jill should be up here next to me. Is she here? Oh, she is. I'm Dawn Garnell with FMCC. I'm a co-founder of the largest Florida medical cannabis conferences in Orlando, February 2020. So do not miss it. And we have a CBD line. We have a medical cannabis clinic. We try just to diversify ourselves in the industry so that we can stay here longer. Uh, we have the also a gelsum, which is a hyaluronic acid and CBD serum that we're creating as well. So we are really big into the industry. We're so happy to be a part of this event. It really brings a really cool experience to Florida. And thank you so much for bringing us here. It's so much fun. Wow. 
I'm so glad that you could be part of it. But what she's doing is a very important thing, which is educating the doctors. And if you get a chance, come out to their event. It's February. It's at the Gaylord Palms. It's where I was married six years ago. So the Gaylord Palms is a great place. Oh yeah, we're we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna have something at the Gaylord. It's gonna be a little bit of fun, but. Right now, there is mystery ingredients. This is a twist that we add to the show, and you'd only know if you watch the first Battle of the Beverages. So each chef has to pick an item, and they have to use that. Now, we are getting ready right now to start, because it's going to be 6.15 in just a moment. So everyone get ready, because as soon as it uh, says 6.15, I'm saying everybody can say go. So it is now 6.15. Hunter, get set, go! Right. Competition starting. So if you're watching this at home, our competitors have glasses behind uh, over to my left that they could choose from. So they have glassware to select. Over to my right, they had a table full of tools that they could use. They have to share. So this is part of the hard part of Battle of the Beverages is they don't even know what we're going to provide. And we don't even know what we're going to provide because often we're doing this in places such as a brewery where we don't have a kitchen. So we're really trying to work with what we have. Now, as we walk back here, we're going to see our table that had ingredients. Now, it looks kind of bare right now. Please be careful on that. It looks kind of bare right now because our chefs came in and tore it all up. But as you can see, we had quite a bunch of things for them to choose from. The really cool thing is over here is our table full of meds. So we have honey. If someone took all the honey and someone needs more honey, we have sticks. We have uh, CBD oil. <laughs> Absolutely. We have uh, coffee that can be roasted. We have nano CBD that can be added to any beverage and it just totally mixes right in. It's really? amazing. We have CBD chocolate peanut butter cups. We have some CBD popcorn. So these are great little things that could be garnished. They could be, um, oh, I'm not going to talk about what you could do with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm like, 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 oh, no. So I need you guys to introduce yourselves while we're going because we totally forgot to do that. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. Which Sorry. camera should they be looking at? <laughs> right over here, right so over here. So you're going to get this camera? Nurse Colleen? Nurse Colleen? Florida Campus Coalition. Awesome. And what are you concocting here? Uh, some uh, mint and citrus drink. Oh, love it, love it. Yeah. All right, next competitor. Hi. Uh, yeah. It's Joshua Lee here. Uh, I uh, advocate with BFC. I run consultants, and I'm working on a uh, ginger lime spritzer that will have a uh, sweet uh, mint garnish. Awesome. You guys are totally gonna introduce yourself to the judges too, yeah, just so you know. Water. But. We got soda water. No soda water, sorry, we did not provide that for this competition. Who are you, sir? I'm Brent Bruns with Botava, Wholesale Kratom and Kava. And we're going to make a killer, killer Kratom Kava CBD smoothie. Wow, exciting. Absolutely. And then let's go back here. We're stepping behind you, sir. Who are you, kind sir? Hey, my name is Carlos, and I am with Life Medi. Awesome, and what are you concocting over here? All right, we are concocting what we call a reefer. Ooh. Uh, what's in it is to be determined. Well, let me just say that those oranges smell amazing awesome. down there. Yes. Yes. Smell them right yes. here. Yes. Super. Let's take a look at the secret ingredient. Ooh, okay. Oh, so cool. Definitely a cool secret ingredient. Those table. are other people's ingredients down there, too. Don't take theirs. Okay. So you can't use the stuff under the table that is not yours. What? Are you kidding? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known it was you. All right, guys, we're going to leave you for a few. I'm going to have some people in here watching you, but we're going to go out there and check in with our audience and see how they're doing. We're going to leave one camera crew in here just to keep watching y'all. Hopefully, we get that going. And, uh, uh, yeah, we actually have a whole thing of paper towels. Hold on one second. I thought you were just sweeping in to get the paper towels for some reason. Hold on half a second. There's actually blue towels on your station, too. There should be, or there was. If they're gone, I apologize. Share that with everyone. You can just put that in the middle. But you guys see down here, you have some towels. Please be careful of that, too, if you guys can't hear me. I said that on camera. <laughs> What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I'd like to find a product that's water soluble enough so that I can uh, at least have a decent uh, mixture. All right. And I'm trying to set this out to oily. You guys are okay? So uh, I'm going to try to prefer one of these other brands. I'm hoping that one of these at least has a, uh, the ability for me to use them without it being an old guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have my recipe down, so I'm okay with it. There. What's going through your mind right now, man? I'm trying to figure out what I want to make. Amanda, because uh, she won't do this herself. The vision that she had, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. This, I know, I'm gonna cry too. When we saw her in Phoenix, she was just the tip of the iceberg. She, you have no idea. But she pulled together an amazing event, and we said we have to do this. The fact we could pull it together in this short of a, a lead time um, is pretty outstanding and we know that what they're doing back there is going to be really exciting and you're going to be able to, to do something that I think we're going to see not just in Phoenix, not just here in St. Pete, but we're, I think we're going to see it in some other places. Um, so you're going to be a part of uh, that piece of history. Um, we are uh, um, most thankful to you, Amanda. Thank you for bringing this here. Thank you from tra for traveling all the way from Phoenix, Arizona to be a part of it. I met that woman in, um, in Las Vegas at the uh, MJ BizCon and the Women's Conference for Cannabis. And it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense, all these amazing people here. So next, uh, I really need you guys to hear, uh, a, I, I want to hear a, a warm welcome to our, our uh, gals at Cura Leaf. Come on up. These gals are advocate sponsors. They're, uh, their company, Cura Leaf. Uh, helped to bring this event here, helped to get us to the point where we can say all of those donations, all of the other stuff that we have today uh, is going straight to research, not to cost because these gals sponsored us. So please tell these folks why they need to come see you at Carolina. We're so excited. We know it's going to be such a wonderful event. Um, we want everyone to come check us out, check out the new flower products, all the different concentrates. Um, we see everyone's having a great time here. We hope we can help with that as well. So we're all here on an obviously great cause and we can all join into that. I just want to give a big round of applause because Florida is an up and coming market, you know, no one's seen this here before and Curly wants to be the backbone and help kind of transcend all of that. So thank you, thank you to all the vendors and people joining in because without us this wouldn't be here. So thank y'all. I just want to reiterate, because there's some folks that are watching that don't necessarily know Curly. Are you are you here just in Florida? Just in Florida, right? No? No. We are actually a few, uh, few states within the country, including Arizona. We are based out of Massachusetts, New Jersey. We are here in Florida as one of the biggest markets, and St. Pete representing one of the stores with quite the large inventory of flour, because we all like to smoke our natural here. But yeah, so you can come visit us. We have 26 stores across the state, and we are expanding with more on the horizon by the end of the year within the next month. So much for, for being a part of this. Um, we really appreciate you as a sponsor. We really appreciate you stepping up. We're very excited. The Cura Leaf folks are um, are uh, a prime example of how our um, our group has come together. I know there are some amazing dispensaries in here, and all of us are working very well together. I say we play well in the sandbox um, because we know that there's a greater picture here. The more people we know, the more the more we can bring in, the more we can help those people. So um, I just want to take uh, one more minute and say thank you, Kira Lee, for being here. Thanks for being a part of this. Guys, you have two minutes and some change left. Get you some key. Hurry up. Hurry up. We do not want to eliminate someone because their drinks aren't done. <laughs> That's about what you got. Good it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We need serving trays. 
first. Where are they at? I need, uh, I don't know. Uh, can you ask uh, uh, Alicia? Serving trays. The bar. Yeah. Hey. The bar. Ask the bar. Thank you.
Uh, I have a company that does uh, consulting for the cannabis industry, and I just started a nonprofit. And my drink today is a lemon lime spritzer. It is a uh, li lemon lime uh, soda with limeade, and then I use the agave trim, agave trim on the glass with a sugar coating. It's for the lemon lime aid spritzer that's in the glass, and then I use a little mint ground up with my grinder from Club 20 After, my sponsor for the event. And then I garnished it with that, so there's just a light hint of the flavor throughout, but not too much. And then I mixed the CBD with agave before adding it to emulsify a little bit so that it wouldn't just completely separate. So tell us what your secret item was, what the item that you brought was, and what your tool was. So my tool was a grinder from Club 20 After, my sponsor for the event, and I used it to grind the mint up so that I could uh, disperse it throughout the mixture after I was done. And my secret ingredient was uh, limeade because I wanted a staple base, something that we could have that would be enjoyable for the judges without trying to over mix a bunch of ingredients. Perfect. And what was your secret ingredient? Uh, limeade. Limeade. Um, and what did you get out of the box? Uh, out of the box, I got cotton candy, and I figured after the cotton mouth killer cleansed their palate, they'd want a little candy for that cup to, to fill it back up. So I put a little cotton candy on the glass to go with the cotton mouth killer. The CBD I used was the Pro Vita mixture because to me it was the one that was going to allow me the best blending, even though none of them were water soluble or you know, water compatible. Thank you so much. All right, Mr. Linney. We are going to bring out our second person, but in the meantime, come up and get your cup, get your sample. You guys want to vote. So in order to vote, there are QR codes on your table. You take out your camera on your cell phone and you point it at it, and then it's going to pull up a website. You're going to want to pour more. Um, it's going to pull up a website that you are going to be able to vote. You're voting on creativity, presentation, which would be right at the table is their beautiful glass. And then also creativity. Only one vote per person, please, or none of your votes will count. Thank you. We're going to go get the second competitor, so please just come right back to hear their information. Take your time. Enjoy it. Careful, careful. Next presentation. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. This is called the High Reefer. Hi, I'm at the Scheduling Competition, and I'm going to This is Hop Rocks. You got Hop Rocks on the rim. You got it. I bet you picked out those Hop Rocks, too. Yeah, this is my help. Thank you. That's freaking awesome. Go directly to the website, not to the bottom. You're going to see what I'm reading. Bro, you need you to come introduce yourself. Stop trying to grab the judges. See what happens when you take your eyes out of them for one minute. We'd like to introduce our second competitor. And we'd like for him to be able to tell you about the wonderful heat drink he made. And then we'd love for you to go vote because, again, that's part of this whole amazing experience. So who are you, kind sir, and what did you make for the judges and audience today? Hey, how are you guys? My name is Carlos Chamontana, and I'm with the Ice Men. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah! I got my, my posse in here. Yeah. Um, today we made a drink, and uh, we called it the High Reefer, okay? So inside there we got soda water, and we put a little bit of nesty in there with a little bit of lemon. We rim the cup with uh, lime juice, and then we use pop rocks for our trim on our brim on the outside. I believe those are uh, what is it? Pineapples we use. We sliced them in half. Then we took a Q-tip, excuse me, a toothpick, and we had to put it inside. And our secret ingredients was marshmallow puff. So we dabbed it with the marshmallow puff. We grabbed Probita 1000 full spectrum oil. Shook it up, dabbed it on top, let it drip all the way. We called it the drizzle. And then little man right here he took the, um, what is it called, the, the meringue, the orange. We sliced them up and we infused those again with the full spectrum 1000 tincture. So it's wow. fully infused all the way. We also put some of the nano inside the drink. So we got the nano in there as well. We used the mint leaf to get it a little flavor. And we got the high reefer. Woo! Woo! Thank you so much. Good
thing, I'm not judging this. I'm already sold on everyone. Oh, I do get to judge. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to taste them, though. All right, I will taste. Yes, yes. So have you all tasted? Does everyone have their sample? Because once you do, we got rim stations, and then you come up and fill your cup again, and then you vote again. All right, so one more time. What was your name? Carlos with Life Penny. All right. And, and what was your name, little man? Another Carlos in the house. I like it. Well, thank you very much for competing. Oh, we got another Carlos in the house. No. My wife. My wife. You're tricking me. Why are you raising your hands when I'm talking about Carlos's? Because my wife was talking to me. That's uh, more important than Carlos's to me. You're getting the hostess in trouble here. All right, everyone. We're going to bring up the next competitor for you. We're going to let you sample these drinks. We're so excited. So give us just a moment. We'll bring the next one out for you. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are super excited to announce the third competitor in their drink. So as he's uh, finishing presenting to the drink, obviously the walk over here is a little bit far, so the garnish was gonna fall. We're gonna let him fix that. We are really, really excited. How's everyone doing so far? Everyone doing so far? All right, we have prizes to give away. Does anyone have any of our prizes? Because I know we have a, a prize somewhere. And I'm gonna name a number, and I don't know what you're gonna win, but you guys all have wristbands on, right? Everyone around me, hold up your wristband. I want to see your number. Ooh, I got some numbers. Ooh, wait, let me see my favorite numbers in there. All right, if you are wearing the number 36, 36, it's my favorite number. Check your wristband and come see us. I have no idea what your prize will be yet. I actually do, but come see us. Check your wristband, number 36, come see us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to introduce the third competitor. All right, who are you? I'm Brent with Botava, and this is the ultimate Kratom Kava CBD smoothie. Very delicious and delectable. It needs to be mixed with the CBD honey stick. We're all put both the top and the bottom merged together and chase it with the chocolate and popcorn. Wow, all right, so what was your secret ingredient that you brought? Kratom tincture. What was the tool that you brought? A ninja blender uh, that heats up. Nice. And then, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what was your mystery ingredient? Hot sauce. And how did you use that in your drink? I put a third of the bottle in it. Whoa. All right. I can't wait to drink this drink. All right, one more time, let them know your name so they know who they're voting for. I'm Brent Bronze with Botava. Perfect. So Make sure that when you're voting, you guys are filling out the cards and uh, doing everything right. Perfect. All right. Let's go. All right. Pass it down to the ladies. How do we do this? This better be like crab, this better be worth the wait. <laughs> and all the damn work. This looks good though. Very excited. So we're supposed to... This is honey. 
We put the honey in with the cauliflower. We're supposed to uh, stir it up. And then we're going to stir it up a little bit with the honey stick. I really like this presentation. Um, and then we drink it. And, yep. then we, and then we chase it with the two things. Yep. Okay. All right. We're going to drink it. All right, everyone. We're going to give you just a moment to catch up and get your samples. So what are your thoughts so far? Interesting. We love it. And yours? Uh, everything's been very creative. Very creative. We love it. <laughs> Who is an audience? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can I pull you over here for a minute? I'd love your feedback. Yeah. You got some empty cups in your hands. I'm assuming you tasted some drinks. All right. What do you think so far? The first one was your favorite so far. Is that what you just said? Okay. Just want to make sure I'm feeding you correctly. All right, we got some hot competitors. That's it. You can go. I'll stop torturing you. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so we have our fourth competitor of the evening, and we really want to make sure we get the show on the road, or we're not going to be starting the next round on time. Hopefully, the uh, creation station is getting all set up for the next competitors. Yes. We have the best team here. I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, and the people here in Florida are amazing. Are so blessed. I gotta say, I like I said, I'm from Phoenix, and I did this event there, and I did not have this amazing crew helping me, and what a difference it's made. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your night. Please, please use the hashtag Battle of the Beverages on your photos. We want to see about your experience, and we're really trying to create an experience for you. So we hope this isn't just your uh, regular average event. All right, dear. So we're gonna have you introduce yourself. You're gonna look at the judges and the audience. I'm Nurse Colleen from Florida Cannabis Coalition. So I made the Green Goddess, the Queen of Green, a mint and citrus detox water. And oddly enough, ironically enough, um, the uh, pork rind was my mystery ingredient. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's like a keto kind of detox thing. <laughs> and uh, there's a House of Jane CBD in there. House of Jane. House of Jane. House of Jane. House of Jane CBD. And what was the tool that you brought? I brought a muddler. A muddler. Great tool. And what was the, uh, you brought mint. Great ingredient. Great ingredient. Perfect. All right. Well, you can go back to the judges area. And you all can uh, come up and get some samples of her green uh, goddess drink. Yeah. So, again, we have a rinse station in the back. We couldn't give you seven plastic cups. That'd be too much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to go get the uh, next round ready, and we hope you continue to enjoy yourself. What are you thinking about the drink so far? Oh, this shit's good, man. Almost better than smoking. You bullshit. Number two? Which one is your favorite so far? Number two? Yeah. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think everyone likes this one. Which one is that? Number one is Joshua Linney. Awesome. It is awesome. try this one. Really? Okay. I'm going to deal with it. Sorry. So, over there is your med table. You guys have to share the stuff that's out here, so communicate with each other. Don't take Lord. everything that's over on the table and just okay. take it. Communicate with each other. Talk to each other. Okay. Help so each other out. I don't know. Is this honey? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so get yourself in here. Is there a... Hi, do you have some fans? Say hi. Yes. Hi, you guys. I'm trying to decide what I want to use. Can we open these and smell them? And can we, are we allowed to? Thank you. 
Presenting today, Green Trace. How about you? Who are you representing today? Strange Cloud, Crater Bar, Smoke Shop, Bagel Shop. Hi, V. Wildflower Culinary. Done. She got uh, peanut butter filled pretzels. Uh, I'm going to say this guy's next. Sorry. Okay. I don't okay. really have a way of how I pick things. I'm ready. Who are you? What's your name? I'm Justin. I own a couple of smoking baby shops and cobble bars. Very and, cool. Uh, we make CBD infused drinks. Let's awesome. go. What was your secret ingredient today? Agave. Awesome. And your tool? Very, no, that's smart. That's good. You never know what's going to be on our tables. You never know what we're going to bring. So that's why we let you bring one thing. All right, so reach in here, buddy, and uh, you can look. You can look. You can, like, look at the other two ingredients and see which one you want to use. That'll work. All right, he's got the crunch berries. We got two um, items left. One okay. is sweet and one is not. Oh, okay. boy. Come on over. Um, 
All right, so who are you, kind sir? My name is Josh Parker. Josh Parker, you are our right in this competition as our seventh competitor, by the way, because we're only supposed to have six, but we need to change things up around here. So <laughs> that's cool. what we do, seven competitors tonight. Um, so uh, go ahead and reach in and right. pick your, you can look at the ingredients. What do you got left? You can tell them. It's pancake syrup mm -hmm. and hot spicy peanuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yum, yum. Oh, oh, thank you. you. Thank you so, you so much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll use the pancake syrup. Yeah. Just go ahead. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Perfect. Syrup. All right, guys. We are gonna get started here in just one second. Get to your station, and I'm gonna say on your mark, get set, go. Don't start until I do. Okay. Yes. I mean, as close to humanly possible. Yeah. Yep. So you can use the big things right in the middle of the mix. You can use these things at the end. You guys need about two of these filled with your beverage and your glasses. Okay. We'll give you a five minute countdown and some countdowns along the way. Everyone just about ready? As soon as this changes, we're going to start. Where's the water? Uh, there was supposed to be some on the table. There's some over there. We're going to grab some water right now. Right now. Can we fill a couple of these with water? Um, that's not going to be enough. Can we just fill these with some water, guys? That takes a really long time. Where can we fill with water? At the bar, maybe? Uh, right right behind where the yep. where trichome signs are? Yep. Thank you. Can we do two of those? Yeah. And then as you empty these, give them back. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. Captain Crunch Punch, bro. How about that, dude? So this is the same thing in here. So if this thing full is two gallons, I know.
Yeah, I don't have. Thank you. Well, extra for the ice. Watch out, sleep over there. Oh shit, this shit better mix better. Oh, Do you have to use your secret ingredient? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use this secret ingredient? Sure! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> Where's the point at all? something for yourself, right? Change up y'all through it. You know I put a lot. <laughs> just just in there. Sir. So I'd like to introduce somebody I met about six months ago. Eight, eight months ago. She, you know, when I met her, she told me she wanted to change things in the St. Pete area for patients. And she opened up a facility and she got out there and she started really integrating with the community. And she helped to put this event on today. And honestly, there was a lot of people that contributed, but Alicia went above and beyond but the normal duty of anybody. She helped with the printing, so the stuff that you see here today. And I want Alicia to talk to you a little bit about what she's doing and how she's cooperating with the companies and the other businesses in the industry to make it better. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Tom. Thank 
the rim in right there and that's uh, some of the CBD honey mixed with my surprise ingredient maple syrup <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using it to run the glass here and I'm just hoping that it goes I'm, I'm thinking it will go good with my punch <laughs> The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> this looks like the strange clouds right here. This is how we roll. Gotta add the colors. Maybe like five more minutes. Yeah. 
Paul was the first church. They didn't communicate with each other? No, we did that. We were talking the whole time there. Oh, you just made a mess for it now when you ate my team that's got to clean up. It's hard. It's all right. It's all right. You're all right. All right, I'm going to be back I'm going to be back with a five minute countdown soon. If there's going to be four that's time, what do I need to Well, the winner of this competition does get flown to Arizona. You guys know that, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's kitchen tool? A submergent blender. And then my last question for you would be, what was your mystery ingredient? <laughs> salt and 
peanut butter pretzels. I crushed them up in my summer. And then I put them Awesome. We are so excited. So this is going to be Miss Mixologist number five on your voting card. Mixologist number five, just in case anyone's lost count. Make sure you come on up and get a sample. Bring your cup if you haven't already and get your sample. All right, dear. You're good to go. Yeah, thank you. All right, we are going to go the next job. Or the next mixologist. Alicia is going to help me bring out the next mixologist. Don't you mind? Oh, Kiri is going to grab the next mixologist. Yeah. 54. Who's got 54? Maybe I've got the right there. Now, we need to explain this drink. So do not go get your sample until we explain. You can set it right on the table. Don't back up, cameraman. Do not back up. Step to your left when you step. Thank you, baby. And then you can serve each stretch. Has everyone seen the trophy that we're giving out tonight, by the way? That was handmade in Phoenix, Arizona by... Uh, Funky Crafts. He is a great little uh, crafter. He makes all kinds of things out of wood. It's amazing. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring this judge up here to introduce himself, and he needs to explain this drink because if you didn't watch him bring it out, there's some sides that go with it. So can I get a moment of silence, ladies and gentlemen? The, the sixth one of the evening. Two more after this. Come on up here, buddy. Back in the room, we need your cooperation and silence. Nope. Yo, yo, thanks, Cloud. Listen up. Yeah! Who are you? I am Justin. I own a couple of smoke and vape shops. One, we have a Catholic Freedom Bar, and that's very nice. And uh, we have CBD cocktails. Hence, while we're here, come follow me to the clouds. Largo St. Pete will be there waiting on you open the 12. All right, so what did you make for everybody today? Today I made Captain Punch Berries because my ingredient was the uh, Captain Berries. That was a mystery ingredient. My mystery ingredient was the Captain Crunch Berries, so I made <laughs> Captain Punch Berries infused inside and on the rims. Let's get there. What was your ingredient that you brought from home? I brought agave, which helps stick the stuff to the rim. Awesome, and what was your tool? A blender. Awesome. All right, and then what CBD items did you use when making this drink? I used the nano hemp CBD to infuse the inside, and I used the uh, CBD honey, which I forget the brand. Cigar World Honey. Cigar World Honey. That's what I use for the rim. Yeah. And you know, that's mixed with the agave. So if I understand this correct, when they bring their cups up to here, they need to dip the rim in the agave and then tap it into the cap and crunch, and then pour the drink, right? All right, so you guys can go. He said it, not me, people. All right, so you guys can get your samples. Again, we got one more competitor coming out. Make sure you get your voting on. Woo! All right, you're all set. All right, guys, let's our last competitor introduce himself. He used one of the most beautiful fruits there is. And I'm really excited for him to introduce his drink. Last but not least, who are you and what did you make? My name is Josh Parker from Green Treats. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So I blended pineapple together and I was going for like a pog, like a Hawaiian type of pog, so like a Hawaiian punch. My secret ingredient was maple syrup, which I mixed with some of the CBD honey and used to rim your sugar rim on your glass. And there's also some CBD isolate mixed in with the punch. What ingredient did you bring from home? Uh, my secret ingredient from home was lemonade concentrate, which is in there. And did you have a tool? No tool. Ooh. And what did you think of this competition so far? Oh, it's fun. It's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you are number seven. And what is that fruit that's on the rim, by the way? Star fruit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your tasting and voting on, and we'll be back in just a moment. What is number seven? No, the purple one, isn't it? The
Mit? After the competition, now I feel good. I feel confident. Feel confident? I feel confident. Good, I feel good. Confident. How are you? Beep, beep, beep. She's not coming out. There you go. Ooh, which one are you drinking right there? Number five. Number five. Hi, what do you think? Okay. It smells like medicine, but it tastes better than what it is. It's actually kind of good. Yeah. So, do you guys mind talking about your drink? What, what you feel, how you felt about them, what you think, all that good stuff? Yeah. I definitely felt like the round was definitely a, a really good use of the creativity and a little bit cleaner of the presentation. First round, everybody was really creative with their concept. I just felt like the execution wasn't as clean as the, the last three. I think each one was slightly I think, better for me each time. Um, the last one, I definitely liked the simplicity of it. Uh, I thought I thought the uh, cleanliness and just the smoothness of it um, was really appealing. The this uh, Captain Punch one was uh, I don't know it was creative and it was fun. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a lot of sugar in there. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Definitely a really sugar one, but uh, it made me feel happy. I like Captain Punch. So. Go to charity. Our goal was to raise five thousand dollars. We're at four thousand seventy nine dollars right now. So we're really close to our goal to raising, but we need your help. So if anybody was thinking about donating or wants to participate in the 50 50, this is your last chance 
because we're going to make the announcement really soon. And again, we're at $4,079 raised for Dr. Sue Sicily's organization. We're really, really close. So if you want to add money, you want to bid on one of these uh, prize packs that we have from the silent auction, don't be shy. I know some of you out there have some money. Come on up and let, let's participate. We got a 50-50 raffle, and we also have a few really cool items that are not very expensive. So we're real close, and we need you guys to help us hit that $5,000. Did you ride with Nancy? Or do you live out here, right? No, in Orlando. Yeah, you want to bid on them? Which one's yours? Uh, I'll throw them in. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I told her, I said, we all should have rode together. Yeah, right. It we didn't even think, yeah, we didn't even think about it. All right. And we got Gary Stein here. Thank you, Gary. And if you don't know who Gary is, Gary selflessly travels the state lobbying for your rights as patients. And he's out there every day. He's unpaid. And Gary came out here today with his wife, and thank you, Gary, for helping and being part of not only today, but everything you've been doing in Florida. He's one of the underappreciated advocates here. And Gary broke down twice here, and he still made it. He broke down, and he still made it. And that's been the story of this industry. The industry is broke down, but we keep jump-starting it, and we get support these events that every one of you are important. Every single one of you. Alright? So let's keep doing it and bring your wallets up here and let's give to Dr. Sue and it's going to be called Field to Heal, her new organization. So that's a sneak peek. Not a lot of people know that yet and I don't think anybody's even listening to me. Because they haven't heard me talk so. Come on up and let's raise some more money. Thank you guys. In all seriousness, just being here is what we need. We need to raise awareness for what's going on. And this is how we're doing it. And this is being broadcast live on the CRW And we're going to share this after the event as well. All the judges got their votes in. All the audience got your votes in. From what I understand in the back, it's a very close competition. Again, the winner walks away. Winner Stand take it. all. Your phone, your phone. A trip yeah, you hold it like and a, this like a custom up. trophy from the Battle of the Beverages. Plus, they're going to be featured in all the public relations and the articles that are going to be written about this event post event. So, we're going to be featured in Florida Green. We also will be in the Cactus Magazine and a few other. So, you scan it? You're going to go right there now? This is an iPad on it. Okay. All right. There's another company here that is actually 
So compassionate capitalism is part of business in the cannabis industry. And Cannavinus, Cannavinus, can you hear me back there? Can somebody get Cannavinus's attention? We're gonna, we got a few announcements, but we want to make a special thank you to Cannavinus, who again, thank you. part of their compassionate capitalism model is to contribute to research. And tonight, they've contributed a sizable donation to Dr. Sue's research facility, and I'd like them to talk to you a little bit about that. So, thanks for having us at CMAC. I hope you guys all got a chance to try it. If not, we'll be trying and sampling you guys on the product a little bit more back there. But we've been selling the product for about two years. The last year, it's really escalating, and we're starting to really get some good traction in the market. Currently, we're in about 10 states. Uh, we decided that we were gonna put a portion of our proceeds from every case sold. Uh, it's gonna go towards medical marijuana research. Woo! Up, to, up to this point, we haven't a uh, donation yet. So one of the things to make sure that we were going through and what our mission statement is on the brand is we wanted to make a donation and tonight we're donating 50 cents on every case we've sold so far and that'll be right We're donating $1,704. I can't thank you enough. I know we just met tonight and you know this was part of your mission before but you know, research is really important. And I challenge all the other companies that are out here to also to contribute. You don't have to contribute to the Battlefield uh, organization or Dr. Sue, but contribute to one of the organizations that are really trying to make a change out here. There's a lot of groups that are trying to help not, uh, veterans. They're trying to help patients. There's a lot of people out here that need your help. And we have an industry and we're making a profit on this industry, or at least some companies are able to now make a profit, and it's time to give back. Thank you. Sue, thank you. Out in Scottsdale at the ribbon cutting. So, again, thank you, Cannabis, and if you haven't tried their product, go back there and try it. I actually bought the product about a year and a half ago, and I didn't know who they were tonight, and it's a great, delicious product. So, thank you so much.